What's up, survivors? Welcome back to another Myth of Empires update maintenance rundown. All right, so they just launched another maintenance with a few optimizations and bug fixes. So the first thing we're going to cover here real quickly is optimizations. So first optimization was mining huts and fishing traps can now only be accessible to the owners. That's a big one. Um, and I think this was mostly done because of people using alts and placing down a crap ton of them. Because you can just have somebody craft them. And then you just have an alt perk character or a bunch of other people place them down. So I think this was to counter that. Which brings me to the second one. Fix the level requirement for the mining hunt and fish traps. You will now have to unlock the recipe and play for at least six hours to place it. Because originally you did not have to unlock the recipe you could just have somebody craft it and then you could place it yeah so this is going to counter a lot of those alt clans like a lot of alt characters and stuff setting up fish traps and mining huts um <clears throat> number three now the market can show a hundred orders in one page which is really good because those pages are getting long <laughs> we're getting a lot of pages um adjusted the recipe for the scythe chariot Adjusted extra duration range and prefect battles, preventing players cannot suicide when stuck. Preventing players from not being able to suicide when stuck. Oh, I think, oh, they changed it so you cannot suicide when stuck. Weird. Maybe I might be misreading that. But interesting. Um, added some uh, limitations to avoid spam in chat, just to help, I think, with the bot spamming. All right, and that's the opposite optimizations that they've done. Now for bug fixes. Um, fix client side crashes for Beast Lord um, interface. No item description in the Guild Depot. Fix some item dis fix some display areas uh, for multiple languages. I know people have been having that display errors. Uh, fix the fix not being able to buy back some items. Fix the price for buying back some items. Fix the capturing Steppenwolf not being able to cause damage to them. And fix the mysterious hunter not refreshing at current current location. So very short one, not very big like the last one, but some good changes, especially now. I, I don't agree with this on the PVE side, but I understand why they needed to do the mining hut and fishing trap because it is a pain in the butt. And sorry, my Discord's going off. I forgot to mute it. But anyways, so hopefully this helps you guys. If you guys are those out there that are just too lazy to read the update and patch notes, you can just listen to my beautiful voice describe them to you. <laughs> but anything. Anyways, other than that, guys, take care. Don't forget, guys, I will be pushing out more guides here soon. I apologize that it's taking so long. Everything that's been happening on, you know, my life right now with the wife being in the hospital. A lot of that got pushed back just because I just don't have the time or I shouldn't say I don't have the time. I just haven't had been the motivation to do it. So I, I do have a lot of that in the works. I am getting it done. So those should be coming out soon. So don't forget to like and subscribe. So in case you guys want to learn some new stuff or if I have any information that is uh, something you don't know about, that should be coming out here soon. So all my old two and a half to three year plus guides will be getting updated. Anyways, peace out. Take care and happy hunting.